I really love the sound of that. That is Nathaniel Bassi with Hungry For You. And this is me, your host, John. As I said, I'm going to be with you. This is a beautiful, beautiful Saturday. 21 degrees Celsius is actually the weather is really nice. It started out really cold, but uh, well, we thank God for the sun that warms up the day. And talking about warming up the day, I've got a guest in studio with me uh, by the name of Kyrene Lee Baxter of Miss Perfect South Africa. We're just going to go into, uh, uh, you know, an incredible conversation. So please do tune in. Tell a friend of a friend to tune in because we're about to learn something new. We always promise to bring value, deliver value. Uh, every engagement, every conversation, we want you to get something out of it. And without further ado, let me introduce the guest. Hi, Kyrene. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Thanks yourself. I'm awesome. Awesome. It's great to see you today. You and I believe we're going to have a very fun fantastic conversation yes. Um, yes. Right, right now I'm gonna give you um, an opportunity um, gonna, no problem I'm gonna give you an opportunity to give a shout out to anybody who might be viewing us or tuning in on our radio platform uh, yes I'd love to give a shout out to my boyfriend Justin for all the love and support and of course to my family my parents my dad Greg my mom Leslie as well as my stepmom Sybil thank you for always looking after me and all the support of course awesome man as I usually say no man is an island so no business is an island all businesses interact and need each other you know just as much as a baker needs you know what the supplier of the flour and the dough and everything else so we all are interconnected and need each other so we're gonna look at uh, her incredible uh, business which is called the Miss Perfect Sewing you know South Africa and we're gonna talk the nitty-gritty of how she started you know where she is at now and where she is looking you know to go in the near future remember this is the ultimate business show where we discuss businesses that are performing really good and businesses that have a great future and potential so well i'm going to read her biography so that we know and get acclimated to who we are talking to today miss perfect herself Kyrene Lee Baxter, <laughs> in, you know, was born in Pretoria and now lives in Port Elizabeth. As she dreams of developing skills, creating employment, growing small businesses, raising mental health awareness and uplifting the community, she also has a passion for wellness and beauty. She studied fashion design and retail buying and the rest she's mostly self-taught with over 10 years in each field we're talking about 10 years you know this is really good she makes clothing and accessories teaching sewing she does gel nails and also trains ladies to do nails she teaches computers and also designs graphics and does any layout work miss perfect was founded in 2020 wow welcome once again it's great Thank to you. have you Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Awesome. I, I, like, I like to hear the story, you know, because um, the glory is always in the story, as they say. From what, you know what, please give us a backdrop, you know, or, or a brief, you know, narr narrative or narration of your beginnings as a business entrepreneur. Well, it all started off when I went to go study fashion. Mm. Um, I did decide I did no longer want to work for somebody because um, your job isn't secure and, you know, you don't know what the future holds. So when you work for yourself, I feel like 
you have more of a chance to succeed. Mm, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Because you definitely have, and I like that you have more control. You know, of the direction of life that you wanna. There's, there's a little, there's uh, some more freedoms in, in a sense that you have as an entrepreneur in terms of, uh, you know, what um, the freedom of directing your course. You know, nobody is telling you, you know, uh, your times and everything else. Uh, but this, we understand that entrepreneurship is risky as well. We all know that actually that word means risk taker. <laughs> <laughs> so you did take some risks, uh, you know, about two years ago. Please tell us how was that when you jumped in into business? Well, at first it was nerve wracking and a bit scary. But as the time went on and I got more support and referrals and started making good friends who, of course, supported me, um, it, I felt a lot more comfortable. And obviously, with the support of my family, I have been given this opportunity to go out on my own. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what intrigues you? Now, we understand that, you know what, you're an artist, uh, you're an artistic person and you are more you know, are drawn to fashion and, you know, sewing and the like. So what intrigues you about fashion and design? Well, because there's always something new around the corner or things most designers haven't tried yet. Mm. And I also feel that uh, slowly but surely fashion is becoming more sustainable. Um, however, fast fashion's a bit of, uh, um, uh, you know, it destroys the environment. So... Mm. Um, mm. I would like to become more environmentally friendly and then, of course, you know, design new things. Absolutely. Yes. I like that. You know, uh, you know, it just speaks about the creative nature of God and creating, um, you know, us, you know, in his likeness. That's one aspect. You know, we are creative. It's a power in that we do have. And, you know, we don't have so many other creatures or animals out there that are as creative. You know, we can design something out of nothing as well. Just put two elements together and it looks amazing and you can actually sell it. You know, this is the one thing about, you know, fashion, you know, because, I be, uh, you know, I've been been involved with somebody you know who was a, a fashion designer and it's amazing how you guys have an eye you know for you know beautiful things and you know color and texture i never see these things you know but you know somebody just picks something you know material here and puts it together i'm like but at the end of the day i'm like wow that looks amazing that looks good so please do tell us you know um what the name miss perfect alludes to i know we've had a bit of off-air conversation and you mentioned it you want to just yeah yes um well when we were young my cousin nicole and my sister sharon and i we used to play a game called miss perfect where one of us would get the opportunity to dress up in the granny's clothing with the fancy umbrellas and then the rest of us had to attend to your needs mm. so if you wanted a cool drink or a foot massage you know you were miss perfect for the day <laughs> <laughs> well i would love to be mr perfect for the rest of my life <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that'll be good yeah. that'll be good okay we see now where the background of this you know is coming from um and uh, what do you want it to communicate to you know the clients who do come in will they get that kind of treatment or was that what was in intended as well yes exactly i would like everyone to feel like miss perfect even if it's just for a day wow. but um everything i make and everything i do does leave you feeling perfect absolutely <laughs> fantastic um and then uh we, we want to just you know you do uh, quite a number of things, you know, from, you know, um, nail gel to, you know, to sewing and to graphics. Uh, please, do you want to just um, elaborate on your services and products? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, so I do nails, mm. uh, gel nails, which I taught myself. And I'd love to let other ladies learn how to do it and make an extra income. Um, and then with the graphics design, I do try to approach new businesses mm. and give them the opportunity to design uh, themselves a logo at a lower price and obviously all their business cards and so forth. Mm. Mm. And then the sewing lessons, I'm trying to as well give people skills to, you know, make their own things and perhaps make an income out of it. Mm. Um, yes, that's basically it. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, they say knowledge is power. And uh, I, I can see, you know, from, even from your bio and, you know, from the conversation we've had, you are not a person that hoards onto, you know, knowledge. You like sharing it, which is empowering, you know, 
you know, people. And you said here in your bio, you, you dream of developing skills, creating employment, growing small businesses, and raising mental health awareness. I want to find out why. You know, because the reason why I'm, intri- you know, I'm intrigued in this, I know many other people, they want not, why should I give away, you know, my trade secrets? You know, why, sh- why should I? They, then they, they, they're going to be competitors or something. What drives you? to, you know, to instruct us and to train others? Well, I know that in South Africa we lack entrepreneurs. And because of that, there's not many jobs. Mm. So I do feel once people have their own skills, which I'm more than happy to teach, Mm. (laughs) that they will then be able to go out on their own, you know, train other people as well. And that way we'll have a stronger uh, um, South Africa. Mm. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, uh, every economy, you know, actually literally depends on entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is a skill that drives economy for sure. When it comes down to, when you boil everything down to it, it's entrepreneurship. And um, you mentioned in your bio that you have a passion for wellness and beauty. Um, well, they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> so please, um, I want to, d- you know, dwell on wellness. Um Wellness is directly linked to lifestyle, I believe. Uh, what two things, you know, in terms of advice from your point of view, uh, can, can people do to have a healthier lifestyle? I would say just looking after yourself. You know, like you would say, your body is a temple. So mm. eating right, a little bit of exercise, some self-care, you know, mm. whether it's a, a face mask and a hair wash you know just feeling good about yourself because then you can go out into the world and feel perfect absolutely (laughs) awesome i love it i love it you know you you remember you said your body is a temple and you must really do take care of it um and you know what you know it doesn't you don't have to do really expensive stuff you know you know taking care of yourself you know because as you said you know what it could just mean as well you know what um treating yourself, you know, right, and, you know, maintaining balance in terms of, like, not us. From This from my perspective, in terms of, like, um, you know, having a balanced lifestyle and not uh, over-exaggerating one aspect. And um, please, you said that you do give lessons in sewing, right? And how can people sign up? What exactly do you teach in sewing? What can they expect at the end of the course? And then how can they sign up? Okay, well, in the beginning, there is a beginner's course, which is mostly the basics. And once you've learned that, you will know how to construct any garment from a pattern. Mm. Then on the second course, we do a pattern making course. So you'll be able to make your own patterns. And then from that, you can make your, your garments that you yourself design. Okay. Yes. Awesome. So as that far, that's mm. what we offer, mm. and you can sign up on Facebook. Um, we do have a, um, a username there. Mm. Uh, also, you can contact us on Instagram. Otherwise, we do have a bin- business contact number where you can also get hold of us on mm. WhatsApp or give us a call. Awesome. And you know what? Just uh, check on the vi- on the video comment section. We're gonna drop all the links social media links, any uh, numbers, any emails, you can get in touch with Kyren. She's going to lead you all the way. And then, uh, as I was, you know, saying, you know, one of the things that you do is graphics, graphic design, all right? And I, I know many people, you know, uh, like to do it themselves, DIY, you know, graphic designers, and sometimes it doesn't come out right. You know, it doesn't communicate what they intended, you know. Uh, so please... Say I intend to design a poster advertising a new gym. Maybe I open a new gym. All right. What are the essentials that will make my poster catchy and spark interest? I would say um, it's probably the colors you use, which attract the people at first. Mm -hmm. Um, Otherwise, I would just say a good logo that represents your uh, gym business. That's also very different to other people. But Mm -hmm. I would also say it's good to look at your competition and take ideas here and there so you can build your own little logo, which represents what you offer. Absolutely. And you know what? I I like that, you know, color, color matching and on all these things. Because colors speak a lot, you know. There's a there's a message, there's a language that colors do convey. So matching the right colors and uh, textures and everything, which is really good. Yes. Uh, well, and then how can people sign up 
you know, for the computer, you know, uh, and graphic design classes that you do offer. Yes. And, you know, should they sign up, where will they be instructed? Do you have like premises or do you have to visit them? Well, you can sign up again on Facebook, Instagram, or you can give us a call or a WhatsApp. Um, we do teach. We have a little studio at my home. Uh, we can also come to your house and teach you there or on a premises that suits you best. But as long as we have a computer, we can do it anywhere, really. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and, well, this is absolutely incredible. Ladies and gents, uh, you're tuning in to the Ultimate Business Show with me, John, your host. And our guest today is Kyren Lee Baxter of Miss Perfect Sewing. We've just had a conversation on a couple of things that she does. She is into sewing. She is into graphic designs and computers. And she's also into nail, gel nails. She does gel nails well um i want to find out um how can what what do well polished nails i've seen a whole lot of you know you know well um this is just my personal opinion sometimes i get shocked you know uh when i see somebody's a lady's nails and i'm like long curve and i'm like whoa that is scary <laughs> or something like that i want to find out what do well polished nails even the length of it or whatever the color um, what do they communicate well it depends what you're trying to portray mm. um if you want nice, clean, polished nails, then I would say go for something like a French manicure. Mm. Um, some people like to get creative and do the long nails, mm. little pictures, okay. di diamante and so on. But I would say as long as your nails are neat and clean and you can use your hands without breaking them, whatever you decide you want. Mm, absolutely. Yes. And, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just tell you this because it happened recently. I have a friend and uh, she was wearing long nails. And I, I, I want to ask you, how good is it, you know, beauty versus convenience? <laughs> you know, because some of these nails are not like, you know, they, they, they are like, I think they're glued on or something like that. And uh, she... I was in an, in a situation where she ha she had to open a can of coke or something like that. So, and you know she was wearing these long nails; they were really long, but then she couldn't use them. So I was like, "Oh, is there a use in you know because yeah. uh, she had to use a spoon or something like that?" <laughs> okay, is it, are they strong enough? Um, let's talk about durability. Let's talk about strength. Let's talk about beauty. You know, is there a very good match is there like one set of nails that you know what we can actually use them you know to actually do some of these things i would say personally if you do have short nails and mm. you've never really had long nails i wouldn't um, extend the length mm. uh, perhaps your first time you will break one or two nails mm. you need to train yourself how to open the coke and mm. so on mm. but i would say that um yeah, if you want to be beautiful, um, whatever makes you feel good, whether mm. they're long nails or short nails, as long as you've got a wonderful boyfriend who's willing to do a few <laughs> things for you. <laughs> awesome. And, well, that is incredible. You, you need a good boyfriend who will be able to do a couple of things for you. That is amazing. So, you know, I, I also wanted to find out, you know, uh, you've been working on nails for quite a bit. And... Um, Please do tell us, you know, of a scenario, uh, maybe a feedback that was really amazing, you know, what, like, you know, you really made somebody's day. Yes. I had a young girl. She was about 18 and she came and did her nails. Mm. And uh, she gave me feedback to tell me that they're still going strong. They are growing out, but it still looks neat. Mm. Um, and then she passed uh, on my number to uh, two other ladies who wow. came and did the same thing. Mm. So it seems like... Uh, the more I do beautiful nails, the happy my clients are. And then they are willing to return and send other people my way. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you want your nails, you know, uh, done well. And is it because I think I was Googling it and I see this category. So something like this gel and then this acrylic. What's the difference? Yes. Acrylic is a harder... Um, 
application. Mm. It does keep your nails hard. It does last longer than mm. gel, mm. but it is kind of more damaging. All if right. you were to break a nail, it's, it can damage your bed. Mm. So I would definitely go with gel over acrylic. All right. All right. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Now you know, I'm being schooled here. I'm being educated. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. We all learning. Knowledge is power. Uh, well, how can people purchase your clothing and accessories? I see you, oh, what kind of things that you make when you say accessories what exactly do you mean i make beanies makeup bags masks um i print on shirts i also make scrunchies all these little things that can add to your outfit or to your wardrobe and most of the items i make have um it's a matching makeup with a matching makeup bag with a matching mask and a matching scrunchie mm. so yes uh, you can buy my products online on Facebook, Instagram. Mm -hmm. You can also contact us. Otherwise, we do sometimes attend markets where you can come have a look. Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I like it. The, the flea markets and what have you. Absolutely fantastic. Ladies and gents, um, please, uh, especially ladies, uh, do make sure that you view this video and uh, see the contact details that we're going to put in in just a minute or two. And uh, I want to find out, you know, Karin, um, you know, in terms of um, you said that um, you were you self-taught you know, for 10 years. Um, let's now look at this from a point of view of uh, somebody wanting to, you know what, to start a business in the same, you know, direction, in the, you know, probably do, maybe doing something a bit different, but n maybe hair or something like that. Mm. You know, what advice, you know, would you have for them in terms of like, okay, this is a must have what are, the, what are the few things like must have from your experience? Because you went to school and you actually studied, you know, fashion design, but mm -hmm. you also, most of the things was a 10 year journey, a 10 year process. Yes. So I would say if you love something, you will just continue until you get it right. And then once you have it right, I would say, go ahead, chase your dreams, do what makes you happy and your money will come to, you know, as you get better, um, I would say whatever direction you go in, as long as it's your passion and your dreams, you should follow it. <laughs> don't don't always stick to the path that everybody else is on. You know, mm. each one has their own journey. Absolutely, man. I'm 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 excited about that. You know, you know, because you know what as she said. You know, you must pursue your passion because I understand that many people are in dilemmas. You know, are in you know uh, contradicting situations where they've got needs but they've got a passion too. And as she said, you know what, um, when you jump in into business, don't expect to cash in the next month or something. It's a process for her. It's been a 10 year journey, you know, to be where she is and absolutely amazing. So um, you started in 2020, all right? Yes. This is now two years old, hooray. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> what would you say has been one of, you know, like, you know, one, big thing you've learned about business? I have definitely learned that a lot has to do with the marketing because how you people perceive your products kind of tells them what kind of quality they're going to get, uh, what they should expect. Mm. Um, yeah, I'd say that. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Branding and marketing yes, and, and, and how marketing. people perceive you is in, absolutely incredible. And I think I second her on that. You know, you have to, you know, make sure that your branding is really good so that people can actually perceive you, you know, as, you know what, this is real quality. Because how people perceive you is, you know, what will affect, you know, their buying patterns. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Kyren Lee uh, Baxter. But before we let you go, uh, we would like you to, you know what, uh, give our listeners, you know, your, you know, your contact details. Please, do you have any emails, uh, any so social media links, any WhatsApp numbers? How can they get in touch with you? All right. So our WhatsApp number is 788 987 Okay. Then you can find us on Instagram under Miss Perfect South Africa and on Facebook at Miss Perfect ZA. And then our email is Miss Perfect ZA at gmail.com. 
Awesome. Ladies and gents, as I said, we're going to drop these links on our comment section. And uh, for you who have you know, questions, remember our number is 069-402-1131. Send us those WhatsApp uh, questions and we're going to respond to them ASAP. Uh, any word of encouragement for anybody listening to us right now? Um, I would say be grateful for being blessed with family and friends and everyone who's always standing behind you and never give up on your dreams because what makes you happy makes everyone else happy because if you're happy, you know, your family will be proud and happy. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you so much, Karin, for coming today. Uh, it's a pleasure for us to have you. Thank you for having me. And yes, I appreciate it. Awesome. Ladies and gents, that was Karen Lee Baxter of a Miss Perfect Sewing South Africa. As we've said, we shared all this, uh, you know, uh, we're going to put all this, um, her contact details, emails, WhatsApp, we're going to put it on our comment section. Do check in later and then please go and support her. You know what, as you said, you know, one, one man wins. We all win. God bless you. Stay tuned. I'm going to come back right away. We're going to enjoy this incredible song by Nathaniel Bassi. Hungry for you. Bye-bye.